Hi, Michelle here from straw-berry.com. I'm a mother, I'm a teacher, I'm a crafter, and I'm a DIYer. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make your own lanyards. I'm gonna do two different styles, one with ribbon and one with chain. And these can be made for, to celebrate Valentine's Day, like I'm making them now, or you can use a different type of embellishments and make them for any time of the year. All right, we're going to start with the ribbon lanyard. So what you're going to need is you're going to need two styles of ribbon. So I have this one here that's um, pink, red, and purple hearts. So that was really cute. And then <laughs> my mother just recently gifted me with, oh my goodness, a box of bias tape. And I don't know, obviously she collected it and never used it all. And so it's gonna take me a while to use this because, yeah. Anyway, so I found some red bias tape that I'm gonna use for my, my other piece of ribbon. You could use, I like using like maybe one satin ribbon and one grogan ribbon just to give it a little bit more strength. All right, so those are the ribbons I'm gonna use. You're also going to need a lanyard clip like this. And I bought a bag of these back in November, December. You're going to need some iron-on hem tape or the stitch witchery um, to make this and some tools. Okay, so the first thing is you wanna determine how long you want your lanyard to be. So you can like wrap it around yourself and determine kind of, okay, where do you want that length to hit so that you can wear your ID. So I've decided I want mine right there, so I'm gonna hold my hand there and I'm just going to cut my ribbon. Okay, then I'm gonna cut my other piece to the exact same size. Next, I'm gonna need some of my iron-on hem tape. And unfortunately, my tape is wider than my ribbon. So I'm going to actually take my tape and cut it in half lengthwise to make it easier for me to use. So you lay down your wider, your two ribbons, doesn't matter what size they are, lanyards come in all different sizes. Then you wanna lay down your fusible hem tape, and then you lay down your ribbon, your second ribbon, your smaller ribbon on top of that. Then I'm using just a damp cloth as a press cloth here to lay on top of it. I'm just using my craft iron to heat and steam the fusible stuff together. You could use a real iron. It would probably work a little faster, but this is what I have in my craft room, my little bitty one. And it's kind of easy to handle. And then you have a double-sided ribbon. You're going to take your double-sided ribbon and you're going to not just loop it, but you're going to put it in an explanation mark, okay, like that. You're going to take one of your loops and you're going to put it through. Now, if you don't have any lanyard loops, you don't have to buy a whole package probably. If you have ever gotten a lanyard for, you know, a giveaway or something, just reuse the, the hook that's on the one that you have already. That would work just fine. Okay. Now, once it's through there, I'm gonna fold this over and I'm gonna take this to my sewing machine and just sew here a couple of times because I want this to be really secure. So next we're going to make the chain lanyard. So you're gonna take some chain. I bought this at my craft store 
couple of months ago um, with my coupon. So you're gonna take your chain and you're going to determine how long you want your lanyard to be. Decide on the length. Now, I find it very helpful to have a magnifying glass, a hands-free magnifying glass like this um, so that I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. All right, so I'm going to take two sets of pliers and open that link to pull off my chain. And then I'm gonna take it to the end of my chain so that I'm making a circle. I'm going to put it back on that link. Now, if you like the lanyards that can break away, you could definitely just add a clasp here instead of putting your links back together. But I like to just throw them up over my head. So now I have a chain. So to my chain, I'm going to add one of my lanyard clips. And I'm just gonna do that with a jump ring. So I'm gonna take my jump ring. I'm going to pull it apart and I'm gonna stick it through my lanyard holder and I'm going to stick it through one of the links of my chain and I'm going to put it back. You have a chain lanyard, but let's decorate it and let's make it look a little bit better. So I was looking through my stash of charms because I'm on a, a no buy this month and I found like a Mustang and some purple beads that I could add. I found some crosses that I haven't used, some different things. Um, so you could definitely make this um, out of any old charms that you have, maybe charms that have fallen off of other necklaces or something. But then I also found these hearts that I had. So I'm gonna use three of those. And then I found these little hearts and I'm gonna use four of those. And these I'm going to press some letters on them. So to do that, I'm gonna take my mat and I have, so this is definitely an extra step that you don't have to do. So I'm going to look for the letters. So this is a C, my husband's name starts with C. So I'm going to take this, set that on there. And then there's a little C there. Next, I want to determine where on my chain I want my charms. So I think I'm gonna have like two of the big hearts on each side, kind of like that. And then put the little hearts in between those. Then I'm just gonna open my jump rings, stick them through my charms, and then stick them onto a link in the chain. Once I have my first one on, then I can kind of count links for how many links that I want them all to be apart. On the second side, I want them to be not so even with the other side. So I'm going to go up about five links from the bottom for my first one. I'm using rather big jump rings for this because, um, you know, it's a thick chain with a lanyard. And now that one is done. Thank you so much for watching. I just love the way these lanyards turned out. I think they will really dress up my outfits and help me to look cute while having to wear my ID badge. And let me know in the comments below if you decide to try to make some of these. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Until next time, toodles.